Let me ask you, did you find yourself missing out on the California Dream for All Down Payment Assistance Program? $300 million was reserved for it, but the Cal HFA program only lasted 12 days, leaving millions of Californians dry and out of luck and still in need of assistance. It is such a daunting task to save this insane amount of cash for a down payment in California, particularly in the Bay Area. And honestly, because of that, buying real estate in the Bay just isn't feasible anymore. And that's why I want to share with you not one, not two, not three, not four, but five reasons why you should consider making the move to Tracy. LeBron, tell us about that. Not two, not three, not four. And why it might be the perfect place for you. Oh, and if you stick around, I'll even give you a bonus reason why you should consider moving here. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Tri-Valley Real Estate. It's Alex Krishna with eXp Realty, your trusted realtor for all things real estate in the Tri-Valley. And as you can see, I'm also a Tracy realtor for this market too, because, well, you know, I grew up in this hometown of mine and I know a thing or two. Now, if you've never heard of Tracy, it is a city in Northern California in San Joaquin County. I promise I'm not trying to send you out to the boonies. But before we get to the top five reasons of why you should consider moving to Tracy, I need you to hit that thumbs up if you like this video so far. Come on, let's get to 50 likes. And if you haven't already, go ahead and become a subscriber. Ring that notification bell so you don't miss a beat on new episodes that I drop weekly. Okay, so now top five reasons why you... Oh, wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Sorry. You need to contact me. You can email me, call or text, or find me on IG and just slide into my DMs. Uh, that, didn't, that didn't sound right. Sorry, sorry. Um, I, I, ladies, I didn't mean to get your hopes up. I, I am a married man, so ignore that. But no, seriously, you, you can contact me on Instagram. But anyway, okay, so now, top five reasons why you need to consider making the move to Tracy and why it might be perfect for you. Number one, affordable housing. Tracy has one of the most affordable housing markets near the Bay Area. Now, despite having a relatively short distance from major cities like San Francisco, Oakland, or San Jose, the cost of living in Tracy is much lower than in those cities. This is what makes Tracy a great option for those looking for an affordable place to live without sacrificing proximity to major job centers. Now, according to the most recent data, the median home price in Tracy is under $600,000, which is significantly lower than the Bay Area. Now, it's obvious why that was number one. So now let's go on to number two, and that's outdoor activities. Now, you know what they say about most people. Get out and get some sunshine. You're cooped up in the house. But if you're already an outdoor enthusiast, Tracy has plenty to offer for you. Like there's plenty of parks and open spaces. Uh, for example, the Tracy Hills Park or even the Ellis Park. Those are new parks and new communities here in Tracy. And amongst the amenities that's available there, you got hiking trails, picnic areas, and playgrounds for kids. Now, Tracy is also located near the Delta Waterways, which is perfect for fishing, boating, or any other uh, water activities. And so these waterways actually stretch about a thousand miles and it's home to over 750 species of plants and animals. So great for you if you love nature, but if you prefer golf, Tracy has several golf courses to choose from. My personal favorite, the Tracy Golf and Country Club. All right, so moving on to number three on the list is great location. Tracy's in a great location for those who wanna be close to the Bay Area, but not too close. There's easy access to major highways like Interstates 5 and 205. It's just 60 miles from SF, but it's far enough away to avoid the high cost of living and the traffic congestion. Now, speaking on traffic, I know the number one pushback that most people get that you're going to get is, well, if you're going to commute to work, you're going to face traffic. Yes, that's true. You're going to hit traffic. Uh, it gets really bad on the Altspot. I'm not going to lie to you. I've done this commute for years. Um, but once you get past the Altamont, it becomes more bearable. But something you do need to consider. This commute that most people dread, you have to consider what you're trading that for. You're going to come home to a bigger house for your family, a bigger backyard for your kids or fur babies, and a lower monthly payment. 
which leads to more disposable income, an opportunity for you to enhance your home, buy other things, or create memories by going on that trip you always dreamed of. Either way, there's a poison pill in each scenario. You can sacrifice, commute, but have a great quality of life on the other end, or you can live close to your job, hardly any commute, but stretch yourself thin financially. I mean, your pick. I know which one I'd go with. But for those of you that work remotely or even have a hybrid work schedule that allows you to uh, have a flexible uh, time working from home, easy choice, no excuse for you. And speaking of trips, Tracy is just a few hours away from the beautiful Yosemite National Park, making it a great home base for quick weekend getaways. And then there's Mount Diablo State Park, which has over 20,000 acres of wilderness and offers hiking, biking, and camping. And then there's the Big Basin Redwood State Park, which is home to the ancient redwoods that can grow up to 300 feet in height. And fun fact, it is the oldest state park in California. All right, number three was pretty meaty, but number four, growing job market. Now, the job market in Tracy is growing at a pretty rapid pace, particularly in the logistics and transportation industries. A lot of this is due to its close proximity to major highways and ports, uh, making it a prime location for uh, businesses that rely on transportation. Tracy is in fact home to some pretty large employers like Safeway, Medline Industries, and Amazon, which its fulfillment center here actually employs over 4,000 people here in Tracy alone. And to top it all off, Tracy is a part of the Northern California mega region which is a partnership of cities and counties that promotes economic growth and collaboration. All right, last but certainly not least, number five, community events. Now, if you don't know, Tracy has a very strong sense of community. The city hosts a number of events throughout the year, like the Tracy Farmer's Market, the Dry Bean Festival, the 4th of July Parade. And if you like to indulge in alcohol, Tracy offers their annual a wine stroll and taps on 10th. There you have it. Five reasons why Tracy might be perfect for you and your family. Affordable housing, outdoor activities, great location, growing job market, and community events. And you're still not too far away from other major cities. Now, if you have any further questions or you're considering making the move, go ahead and contact me. And as promised, I said I'd give you a bonus reason. Well, here it is. And that is Ellis Homes, which is actually near Tracy Hills. But uh, for me, this community feels more homey. Their floor plans feel more luxurious. And uh, there's a lot of great uh, upgrades to the community that's going to happen soon. And so this is what my next episode is going to be on. I'm going to be covering this community and also um, a lot of the floor plans that they have to offer here. So you definitely don't want to miss the upcoming series. So if you want to move to Tracy and have a little higher budget, you might want to consider this community. But like I said, uh, we're going to take a deeper dive into Ellis in the next video. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked my video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so you won't miss an episode of Tri-Valley Real Estate with Alex Krishna.